Brooklyn Independent Television. And that was a nice package about Darrell Aiken Afam, who's a certified trainer and martial artist. But joining me about conditioning and staying in shape is key to winning championships, right, Javon? Yes. Joining us is Javon Deer. Javon is a junior and a forward here at Mega Everest. Conditioning is key. Let's go into that as far as what you have to do in order to stay in shape for four quarters or two ads. Well, for us as a team, it starts in practice. Every day our coaches give us drills, circuits, we lift weights. We go in the swimming pool, do workouts in there. And all it is is to prepare us for like the last five minutes of games. As the course of the game goes on, we wear teams down. But when it comes down to the last five minutes, it's key that we have the fresher legs, and usually the t most of the times we prevail and hopefully try to get the W. How's it feel now? Back in the day, maybe four or five years ago, mm -hmm. you know you were playing Meg Evers, eh, you know, that was a guaranteed win. Now when teams come here, now they're pretty, uh, not scared, but they don't know which team may show up sometimes, right? Yeah, I understand before um, my coaching staff got here and a couple of guys as juniors now, sophomores, the schools I wasn't really winning that many, that many games, and since they took over this program, they've done a good job. How did the philosophy change also? Let's go over the philosophy of the team. The philosophy before and the philosophy now of this particular team. It's the discipline. I think that's what, that's what they mainly, they gave us the structure here, and they put us in the best position to win, and we, we bought into that, that philosophy that coaches run here. Going into the conference tournament, did you feel that you had a chance to win the championship at all? Not to be cocky, absolutely, yes. Um, I felt last year we had, a, we had a, um, a tough first half. We lost a lot of close games, and I think in the second half when we got a couple new guys and we messed together, we found ways. I, I knew deep down that I was going to win a championship. I didn't know how, but we all believed in one another, and we put the work in and practice. And we won out, we won, we won on a winning streak, we lost a few games, but in the end, we won the CUNY Championship. And you defeated College of Staten Island. What was that feeling like, especially because this is the first time this particular college has won a CUNY Championship since the early 90s? Yes. Um, Staten Island, they're a good team. You know, um, last year, they beat us twice in the regular season. It was tough losses to them. You know, but we, figured, we, we watched the game tape, and we saw reasons why we lost. And going into that championship game, we just knew we had to pay attention to guys' tendencies, I mean, things like that, and just somehow just come away with the W. How many players are back from last year's team also? Uh, or would you say maybe three or four? Is the main core of the main last core year's guys, team? I'll say about five, six. Five. Five, yeah. So what is the chance of repeating? I mean, we feel the opportunity to repeat is there. We just have to work hard. Right now we're in a little bit of a slump, but our main goal is by the Come time to playoffs, we want to be hitting our peak and playing our best basketball. Is it good to really hit your peak now? I mean, to play well now instead of waiting to the conference? I mean, it is important now, but we just we got a couple new guys, so we want to make sure everybody gels together, mess with, mess with one another, and try to get how each other plays. So we just we're still learning each other, even though we season started in November. But adding new guys is not actually easily. So right now we're just going to keep building for January. February, you know, hopefully time playoffs come, we'll be rolling. The atmosphere around the school now, is it contagious that you guys are champions and people are coming out to you? Yeah, games? a lot of people um, support us now, you know, they stop us and ask us when's your, how's your game going, when's your next game, they would like to come out and support us, so that's a big difference and it's a good feeling that, you know, you're representing your school in a good way. Now, to get back to the championship, what do you guys have to do in order to get back to the championship and win it again and repeat? Same thing we did last year, just work hard and understand that we're the hunted, as, a, as opposed to the, us chasing everybody else. So, I mean, we understand every game we play now, everybody wants to beat us. And the first two losses, we realized it, it was more important to the other teams than it was to us. And we somehow we have to regain that focus and approach every game that we have to win it, not just because we're the champions. That was last year. Now there's another championship for us to go out there and win. So now you got the bullseye in the back. Yes. It's a, it's, a, it's a great feeling, you know, and everybody, because they want to they want to play us and measure themselves up against us. And that's, a, that's something we did in our first few years when they had, they pick other people to win, other teams like Brooklyn, Baruch. You know, when we play those teams, you wanted to beat them. And you figure if you beat them, maybe you got a good chance of, of winning a championship. And 
last year we did just that and we won the championship. Thanks, thanks for having me. When it comes to college basketball, LIU and St. Francis is not the only game in town. You have a lot of action here in Brooklyn, Medgar Evers and Brooklyn College. Well, that's a wrap up for In The Zone. I'm Michael Bellamy. Take care and have a safe week. Bye. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.